As the cost of gas and food continues to climb, low-income residents and families are the most affected by those high costs. Food pantries in smaller communities in South Dakota are feeling the effects of that inflation. In Jefferson and Yan uh, Vermillion, I should say, and Yankton, food pantries are seeing more than double the amount of visitors than they normally see. And many of them are using a food pantry for the very first time. Of course, we tell them that there's nothing to be ashamed of. Everybody has some hard times and everybody's struggling right. financially with the inflation and everything. So. Thurman says that the uh, contact center in Yankton sometimes will see an increase, uh, increased need during the summer months. That's when kids are out of school. But this summer has been different. The Vermilion Food Pantry says that they've served 623 households in May and June of this year, and that's twice as many as they helped in the same time frame just last year. Meanwhile, the Food Bank of Iowa has reported serving the highest number of people in its organizational history, 40 years. Workers with the food bank say in May they served more than 120,000 individuals. The number is almost 2,000 more than the next closest month, which was back in November of 2020 during the height of the pandemic. They say rising food, fuel, and housing costs and elimination of SNAP benefits and other government supports have left many working Iowans struggling to make ends meet. They've delivered 1.6 million pounds of food to, the pan uh, to their partners in May and the same number in June.